So welcome to Mongolia. The hotel you see behind me here is owned by the former president. But this hotel here, it's very interesting and has interesting story. It was built in 1964. And this guy who ran for president, and his name is Batulga, and I think you allowed to pronounce his last name like a Katma, who was born in, uh, uh, in March, Three, 1963. So in his birthday, he has a two threes. March 3, 1963. And he bought this hotel, that's what they told me. Because the hotel was built only one year after he was born. Let me take you inside and you can see the breakfast. You can see the room. And after that, but Mongolia is a very unique country. For this, I will take you around Ulaanbaatar. Today, the temperature is really good. It's flowing between the 60s. I don't want to delay. I will start with the breakfast room. That's the most important part when you're visiting. But before going there, look, that is one tower, and this is the second tower of this hotel. Let's go to the breakfast first. So that is where the breakfast room is. And the hotel has these medieval uh, doors. They look really beautiful. And uh, it's owned by the former president of this country, whom I heard they like him. So let me show you the breakfast room. So I'm now in the breakfast room, which looks like probably a banquet place where uh, they organize, because they have even a stage there for music there. And the breakfast is buffet, and the hotel cost me $70 per night. It's an old hotel, I think, I think it was built in 1964, that what I think, because it contained 1964 in many uh, of their credentials. And uh, I'm gonna go see which Mongolian breakfast they have, but the, 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 the place is uh, so big, it's just <laughs> humongous. I didn't know that it's gonna be a place like this. Let me show you around here so that you can see. They have that big screen there. And this is like a stage where they perform some, uh, probably some music. And that uh, showing mostly Mongolia things. And this is the breakfast area. It is just big. <laughs> it's really big. So, one thing I've seen so far, I'm the only one black around, even in the plane, I was the only one black. So I will see how, gonna go in the village, I will see how people are gonna react there when they see me, I love that. So let's see here what they have. So these are just regular toast. I don't know what is this. Probably a Mongolia. This is cross crescent. I don't know if this is a banana bread or this one here. I'm not sure. That peanut butter. That should be yogurt. That one I don't know what is that. And of course, cereal. And this is oatmeal here. I don't know if it is tomato juice. I wish they could put the names here so that people can know. And there is no one here who can tell you. And this should be kind of cheese. And all the cheese there. 
these chairs. No name. No. This milk looks very creamy and tempting. Let's see what they have here. Soup. Soup too. That soup there looks like what they call in the Philippines, lugao. It, it looks like that. They have a bean stew. Wow, these are long beans. And they hear bacon. What is there? This, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, anyone knows this meal here before? I've never heard this before. This is my first time to see this. But you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try. And here, look, they have the same thing but a different color. So, they're kind of a little round something. This spaghetti and the rice. Vegetables, yeah, that's delicious. And it's a broccoli and the lettuce. The last but not the least, eggs. So let's have fun. I think they have a tea station there. What type of tea do you have here? Yeah, what they call the English breakfast tea. Yeah, probably I'm gonna get this one. This is green. What are those uh, little, little ball and the second and the third? Little, little, little ball. I'll show you. Let me show you. Be of influence of Russia, probably it had a lot of influence, and I've been told that even their writing is same as Russian. So probably that's where they get their recipe. But remember, Mongolian has their unique food. You need to get that. Go in the village a little bit outside of the city you will get the actual Mongolian food, like the one I ate. Crispy. Not like the one I ate in the Philippines. It was a little bit fluffy. So when I went in Mongolia in the village, they focus more on animals. I didn't see them growing something like a garden. I think some places I saw the greenhouse downtown. But in the village, no. Even the food we have, there was no any vegetables in it. But it was delicious. Protein and carb. I'm going to have breakfast now. They have breakfast buffet mainly Mongolian. I think probably I will say 80% of their breakfast is Mongolian. And they have some product they brought from Russia. And of course the fruit probably from China. Probably. So First of all, I'm gonna start with the soup. Yeah, 
this one here. This one is here, yeah, my favorite soup. And Mongolia eats a lot of fat. So I'm gonna start with this. Mongolian soup. Doesn't have the name. <laughs> I just wish they could put some labels on their pot so, so that people can know. But so they have cultured milk. It's a little bit tangy, but really good. Very natural. And I love this. The kind of cherries that are steamed or a little bit fried. And they have this uh, big beans. They have these uh, beans, they're a little bit large, like that, big size. And they cook them to some sweet. And the bread, this is banana bread. I don't know if they grow bananas here. Because in their sweet, in their fruit, fruit stand, they don't have bananas. And which makes sense, banana doesn't like cold. This milk, very natural. It tastes really, really natural. And there is not a percentage of less fat or this, no. The wheat bread. more a little bit dry witty and I had this tomato juice come from Russia too so the majority of the visitors in this country I had a number one are Koreans South Korea why a guy told me that this country, Mongolia, has been developing some partnership with the South Korea. And you can see the buses, Hyundai buses. But also, Samsung is here. So this hotel here, I booked for three nights, two days. The churches for three nights. And uh, let me show you around. And, and you have this bed. Looks a beautiful, well-made bed. And I don't know if that is the radio there, here. Probably. And you have the phone here. Love this cute light here, and the TV. I'm not sure it's working, but let me see. I want to turn it off. Do they have this? I don't know. These are for the shoes. What is this for? I don't know. And this is the bathroom here. Mm. I've seen this kind of mistake people do here when you're having shower then water comes here. I don't know why they don't put like a door. So, I mean, you water spill. What? So they have a bunch of hygiene product there. Two glasses of water. It's like actual fan. 
That is like an actual fan bear. Yeah. So pretty much that's it. So the country itself, they say, have like a 3.5 million and a 1.5, they live in this capital, making it the most high density capital in the world. And like almost half they live here in this capital. That's why the too much traffic that what I heard, I didn't experience that because I arrived night time. They have too much traffic and this is where people can get job, especially young people, they're moving here to live here. And that's where they have most of the school. That way they have the, the government, the central government. And actually I heard a few days ago, Putin was here. A Brazil coffee there. There is a Brazil coffee there. So probably I will go there. That's the one there. I'm not a coffee guy, but I will go to try. And there is a Samsung there. And the mountains, they have like a trees that are planted, not like, uh, I don't think that those trees are natural, probably are uh, like a foreign natural forest probably what they planted looks a little bit like arizona and this hotel i'm staying in has a two tower one is here and one is where i am here when i was going around i saw burger king i saw, I saw the kfc and also they told me that they're excited that they are opening a subway here but they have all those American uh, restaurants. And the temperature now is a 42 degree Fahrenheit here. So a little bit chill. That's why people are having jackets. And they say it can be cold. I think those kids there, they're going to school. One point five million. Well, they do have a coffee shop right away after you enter the hotel. They have a, a coffee shop behind you. I think coffee is number one travelers in the world. Look at you have a Tanzania. I don't know where that Ethiopia, Colombia, Guatemala, and you have Kenya here. I don't know where is it. And also you have ATM here. I didn't read well about the charges. I know in the Philippines they charge you like a $5 for your transaction. Here, I didn't check it, but I will check when I withdraw. And the hotel name is called the Bayangol Hotel. I asked the guy the meaning of this name and he said, probably it means beautiful. So this is like a downtown, like a city center of Ulaanbaatar. Yeah. Few trees. Looks like a kind of Arizona there.